So now that you have Game Salad up and running, the first thing I recommend doing is naming the scene that we're going to be working with. So I will go ahead and call this Game Controller. And then I'll give it a name up here for the title. And then I'll save everything out. So go ahead and save this in your project folder. And then what we want to do next is choose which device we're going to be building this for. So the background that I created for this specific tutorial is for an iPad. So we're going to switch this over to the iPad landscape. Click OK. And then once you've done that, you can double click on the scene that you just named to go ahead and launch that and we want to import all of the images that we're going to be working with. So we'll simply click on this images icon, go down to the plus sign, find the image folder. Now if you're not viewing this tutorial on the apptrainer.com website, you're going to have to visit the apptrainer.com website to download all of these project files. So I'll just simply click and drag to select all of these at once and go ahead and click open and they'll import directly into our images. Now we're not going to drag all of these up into the actors area. The only ones we're going to drag up is our background and this up image and then I'm going to rename this up image letter A so we know what we're doing here and we want to set up our scene here by simply dragging the background over to the right and we'll drop it in. Now a nice little tip when using Game Salad is how to kind of zoom in to adjust images and actors perfectly. Game Salad unfortunately at this point doesn't have the ability to zoom into the document kind of like you would in Photoshop or other image programs. But what you can do is if you're using a Mac, which of course you are at this point using Game Salad, is you can hold down the control key and if you're using a laptop you can take two fingers and on the touchpad slide forward and what that'll do is let you zoom in here. So again I'm holding the control key and I'm taking two fingers and on the touchpad I'm moving back and forth to zoom in and out of my screen. And if you don't have a touchpad or you're not using a laptop you can hold the control key and simply use the roller on the mouse to zoom into the area wherever the pointer is. So what this allows you to do is kind of zoom into an area and then you can either move this around or if you want to be really precise about this you could go ahead and use the arrow keys on your keyboard to just move things over a tiny bit at a time. So once you have that set perfectly hold the control and again because I'm using a laptop in this case I'll use two fingers and zoom out. So we have our background set up perfectly. Then I'll grab our letter A actor and drag that into the scene here. And everything is set up the way we need. Simple. Only two actors for this tutorial. And if you want, you can go ahead and preview your game and see how it's looking. See if you lined up the background images and everything is looking perfect. So I'll just click the back arrow to move back to this area. And I'm going to create a new actor here and I'm going to call this actor up. Now if I were to just drag this actor down here to serve as the touch area for the up control, you can see it kind of blocks out the image in the background. And this is a little bit annoying because if I want to do some precise positioning, I can't exactly see where it's uh, set up or what image it's over or what portion of the image it's over. So something that's nice to do here is take this temp image that I created which is simply just a hundred by hundred pixel image where I turn the transparency down to about 30 percent and you can drag that and drop it on top of the up actor. And you can see what that does is it applies this image which again is just a light blue image that has its uh, opacity turned down to 30 percent and you can see that that now makes this area a little bit transparent. So just a good way of working when you're kind of making these touch areas. Later in the tutorial what we'll do is we'll double click on this image here, go to the graphics, or double click on the actor I should say, go to the graphics and simply click the visibility icon and uncheck that so that it'll be completely invisible inside our scene. But this, while doing this at this stage, can, it can make it a little bit difficult to find the actor and kind of see where things are positioned perfectly. So I like to just keep the visibility on but include this kind of blue temp image so that we can kind of work with these areas and see that transparency 
and then adjust things accordingly. So it makes it really easy to kind of see exactly what you're working with. So what we're going to be doing is creating a lot of different actors that are for the up region, the right region, the down region, the left region, the red button, and the blue button. But something I'd like to explain right now uh, is that we're going to be creating a new attribute. So what's going to happen, and I'll bring up a graphic here which explains it a little bit better, is that our controller actors, that blue image that you just saw that I had, are going to be controlling the attribute that we're about to create and that attribute is going to be driving our main actor around the scene. So our controllers themselves on the screen aren't going to be driving the actor. We have to have this third party in the middle. So I just wanted you to see this so that you can understand what I'm doing here by creating a new attribute. So we'll go over to attributes and we'll click the plus icon to create a new attribute and in this case I'm going to use a text attribute. I'll click choose and I'm going to name this controls and I'll just double click over to the right hand side here of the controls and we're going to give this a value of none. Now at this point you don't need to give this a value and all of this will make a lot of sense once we move forward in this tutorial but uh, I like to just put a value in here so I know that there is something there by default but you could leave this blank if you like. So now what we need to do is have this up button change this attribute to a specific value. And because we're working with a text-based attribute, we'll change this value from none to the word up. So let's go ahead and jump into that up actor that we created by double-clicking on it. And we want to set up our first rule here. So the rule that we're going to be setting up is we'll click Create Rule and we're going to switch this over to touch. Now right now when we're working on a PC we're switching this over to touch and obviously our PC or our Mac doesn't have some sort of touch interface but just be aware that when we switch this to touch Game Salad is also going to treat that like a click uh, when you're working on a PC. So you don't actually have to have this set to mouse button or a click while you're working uh, on designing the game and then once you publish switch it over to touch. You can just keep it to touch the entire time. So we'll switch that over to touch. So basically if we go back to our screen here what do we want to happen when our player touches this blue area? Well we want to switch that attribute we created to up. So we're going to click on touch and we're going to go over to our behaviors here by clicking on the behaviors tab and we are going to change an attribute. So find the change attribute behavior and drag that up into this area. And then which attribute do we want to change? Well we only created one new attribute so if we click on these dots over here we're going to navigate through our attribute browser and just follow what I'm doing. We'll click on games which is where all the attributes that you create will be and I'm going to click on controls which is the attribute we just created double click on that. And what do we want to change this to? Well, like I said, because this is a text-based attribute, we can simply just type in whatever we want. So I want to change this to the word up. So pretty simple. What have we just done? Basically, if we push this button here when we're playing this on our iPad, it's going to change this attribute controls from none to up.